Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Sorry, we're looking at a temperature that's warm coming in at 85 degrees on our way to temperatures in the upper 80s. Plus, and key to our forecast today is the wind now shifting out of the west, southwest. And that little westerly direction is going to push most of the shower and thunderstorm activity into inland areas a little later on this afternoon. Uh, the pressure is rising today as high pressure continues to expand across the region. We'll look for about a 30% chance of showers by 3 p.m. And that'll be mostly in inland areas. Actually, in inland areas, you might see that 30% jump as high as 50 to 60%. The further inland you go into very interior sections of uh, uh, Hardy and DeSoto counties, Charlotte County as well. 87 degrees I think will be about our daytime high. Mostly sunny skies with a little bit of fair weather cloudiness mixed in. Isolated showers along the coast. Better rain chances inland. By this evening, temperatures will fall into the lower 80s. Uh, about a 20% chance that some of those showers might work their way back or we might build some showers off Gulf waters, but the chance is not that great, 20%. And then as we head into the evening hour, I think everything winds down. We'll have temperatures that will generally be in the mid 70s, so a pretty nice evening shaping up for us. Uh, future cast shows that line of showers by 3 o'clock this afternoon, kind of building along that sea breeze push. And then along the coastline, maybe a shower or two, but not not nearly as likely as those inland showers. And then by the time we get to the evening, I think maybe a little bit of debris cloud left over from uh, showers down to our south. But as we head into tomorrow, I think some clearing will start to take place and we'll start to see the beginnings of what I think is going to end up being a pretty nice weekend, actually. So we still have these showers down to the south. They're not nearly as intense as they were yesterday. We don't have the upper level low kind of enhancing the rain showers. This is just a flow of moisture up out of the tropics. And I think we'll watch these showers kind of decrease in intensity as they lift northward. None of them terribly strong. No lightning pops being seen. All the, the radar returns are coming in with just light rainfall, so nothing really serious here. And as those winds are more and more westerly, we'll see the shower activity begin to build more and more westerly as well as that system lifts northward. Right now, as I mentioned, we've got those few showers in inland areas and a couple of river warnings up. Cresting over the next several days, none of them showing any significant flooding, not, nothing getting into houses. Even the Horse Creek at Arcadia only coming up about a foot above uh, flood stage, and that won't get into any homes out there as well. So a little bit of cloud cover around, yes, but we continue to watch some drier air on either side of that northward flow, bringing in some uh, uh, some sunnier skies as we head into the weekend, plus high pressure will build westward. That also will help bring us some sunnier skies. Shifting winds continually to the west this weekend, pushing those showers toward the other coast. South wind at about 10. Today, look for a light to moderate chop on your bay and inland waters. Pretty nice. So daytime high today, about 87 degrees. We'll have that chance of a shower, mostly inland. And then tomorrow, maybe an isolated shower or two near the coast, then building inland once again. And over the weekend, I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of rain showers around. Most everything will be pushed inland or to the other coast. Lots of sunshine, really beach weather this weekend, I think. And then as we head into next work week, about a 20% chance of showers. Scott?